Well, some of you may have been wondering where I've been the last two or three months and uh, things have changed. There's been uh, a lot of changes going on. I'm sitting out here, my backyard on a beautiful October afternoon. Had a nice weekend in the 80s. And uh, yeah, like I was alluding to, um, there have been a lot of changes going on and I've been quite busy uh, the last couple of months and had to take a bit of a break from shooting videos. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to spend too much time in my yard, but what is happening is sadly we're moving and what that means is this is my last summer in my beautiful yard now once i get settled i will resume production again at our new home whenever we find it our house is currently for sale and uh, hoping someone picks it up soon and I'm hoping whoever buys it loves the garden that I've created over the number of years, the last number of years here. So uh, just to give you a little bit more information, I am moving to another warm, palmy area. Actually, some people would consider it um, <laughs> not warm, not hot, but just wicked. So. The big news is, is we're moving to Houston. So Houston, Texas, here we come. Uh, solid zone nine, lots of heat. So I will be able to grow many of the plants I do here and many of them I won't be able to because it'll just be too dang hot. So I am looking forward to be a, being able to grow um, many of the sable species and, and, and the brahias that um, some of them struggle here, some do okay, but they're, you know, more of a natural um, habitat. You know, there are there are two sables uh, native to Texas, possibly three. And uh, so, yeah, we should see, get some um, interesting videos and have some interesting plants to grow. So I am looking forward to that. I am looking forward to warm winters. Not that our winters are particularly cold here in Oregon, but uh, cool and damp, whereas... I will be heading back uh, to the east side of the continent where we will get rain and sun and all sorts of weather in winter. So um, for those of you that don't know, um, I've been researching the weather there and it looks like you have three months where the daytime highs are in the low to mid 60s and beyond that two months in the 70s two months in the 80s and five months in the 90s so um in our cold in the cold weather will be about 15 degrees celsius will be the average daytime high they can get arctic incursions there so it is possible to get below freezing temps but uh, there is a pretty good 30 year stretch and hopefully uh, it will pick up again so heat and humidity and summertime rain here we come and uh, just toasting a drink, just a, a toast to my yard. I will miss you. It's uh, probably one of the more difficult things about leaving. Um, so here's to you, yard. And just uh, for the record, that is Canadian whiskey. So. Hopefully by Christmas, I'll be in my new home. I am looking for a place with a decent sized yard. There will be a pool as far as we know, and uh, a big uh, emphasis on indoor outdoor living. So this is gonna be a long video. I've shot a few, uh, some footage of the front and backyard, how things are looking today on this beautiful um, fall day. And I wish you all the best and I hope to uh, be in touch with all of you soon. Um, I'm probably gonna change the name of the channel. Uh, I have a few ideas, so we'll see what we can accomplish down there. Thanks everyone, hope you're having a great one.